Welcome to the Stacked Supplement Podcast, the premier source for supplement news and reviews. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Stacked Supplement Podcast, where we run down all of the top stories and exciting announcements shared on our website from the past seven days. Uh, this episode has been recorded a day late, so it's probably going to go up a day late, and um, we're still going to cover all of the stories from last week, and there were, uh, as politely as I can say, a shitload of of excitement and announcements and news and stories. Um, probably the most exciting week we've had uh, so far this year. In fact, one of the most exciting weeks we had had uh, in a few months. And we're going to start this episode off with news from Core Nutritionals, who had an incredible year last year. And if you follow the site at all, it would be very obvious that yeah, Core was bringing the fire in 2020 like no other. Um, Core has always been a personal favorite brand of mine. I actually buy stacks, monthly stacks from them um, and use myself, uh, whether it be for uh, gaining, maintaining, uh, dropping weight. It's The brand has comprehensive approaches for all types of supplements. Um, so yeah, it's one of my favorite brands. And last year, they just turned the heat up. Um, Core, again, was always known as a reputable brand, but in 2020, it just revamped, uh, relaunched a lot of supplements with new formulas, some some slight tweaks here and there, new flavors. It even entered a whole bunch of new categories. And uh, this year, it is signing, showing no sign of slowing down. We got the uh, we got Corsair, which is the brand's new uh, stimulant-free fat burner, stackable still with shred and burn. Uh, there was Core Poise, the brand's woman-specific supplement. Um, and now it's announced that we're getting another weight loss supplement in the coming months, but this isn't exactly an entirely new one. Now, um, if you're a fan of Core, you'll know that uh, there have there's, there have been two versions of uh, Core Burn, which, as I mentioned, is uh, one of Core's fat burners. It's, it's arguably its flagship fat burner. It's a stimulant-based supplement, and it's actually our number one rated fat burner. Um, so there's two versions, or there have been two versions on the market, uh, not formula-wise, but format-wise. So there's always been a flavored and a capsule version. And while they are both called Core Burn, and they have the distinctive differences, obviously, uh, with one being capsules and one being flavored, the ingredients and dosages in these supplements are not the same. So there's always been a, a few differences, but minor, and they're not stackable either. So they're still both stimulant-based supplements. Um, so whereas Shred and Sear, you can still stack with Burn, you can't really stack the two Burns together. Um, so obviously there's some overlap, um, to, in the coming months, Core is relaunching uh, those original corn burn cap, core burn capsules. Because if you go to the website right now, you'll only find the flavored version. Um, and so they're going to be relaunching core burn capsules, uh, still with a different formula to the flavored core burn. Um, but it's going to be under a different name now, which I think is very appropriate because it it, it can get confusing and it, for me. If you've got a different formula enough to be very distinctive or somewhat distinctive, it does deserve its own name or at least some kind of thing to help it stand out and for fans to not get confused. So the name of uh, Core Nutritionals returning Core Burn Capsules is going to be Core Blaze. Now we don't know too much about the formula, only that very much like the regular Core, uh, so the core Burn flavored, uh, it will be quite comprehensive, featuring stimulants and other ingredients to help provide that well-rounded uh, core burn weight loss experience, but it, it, it will still be very different from the flavored version. So there'll be distinct differences, and again, it'll just be called Core Blaze uh, as opposed to Core Burn in capsule form. Uh, the next story we have comes from uh, one of the longer-running brands out there, and that is uh, Muscle Meds, most known for its uh, beef-based protein powders or beef-based protein supplements. Uh, originally the Carnival Protein Powder, then we got a few spin-offs including the Carnival Brownie, Carnival RTD, and even Carnival Mass. Uh, they came out with a new supplement last week that I thought was really cool and something I'd only ever seen, uh, I would say, a handful, maybe even a couple of times in, in my years following the supplement industry. So Muscle Meds introduced a new supplement called Feast Mode, and the product is actually a weight gain pill. Uh, so and I said I have seen something similar to this before. Now, this isn't a mass gain or a weight gain or anything like that. This is a pill to to essentially enhance or, or improve your appetite 
in order for you to be able to eat more and gain more weight. Um, so it has ingredients to basically uh, stimulate your appetite, um, and 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 I think it's delay yeah delay the uh, uh, the feeling of fullness and increase your caloric intake. So it's really got a multi prong kind of approach to help your body eat more. So for those who are hard gainers, which is kind of what mass gainers and weight gainer protein powders are for, uh, this is kind of an ideal supplement. Um, and I did say that I have seen something like this before. And now if you are a long time fan of the supplement industry, you will remember um, Controlled Labs. I don't even know if it has it still now. I know it did. I'm not sure if it's still around, but Controlled Labs had a supplement called Black Hole. And I remember seeing that thing and it was it was called like an appetite or a hunger. It was something to just basically be able to make you eat, help you eat more food. And I just thought it was a very unique concept. I mean, it just not un unlike anything else that you'd really see advertised on the market. Um, and so, yeah, this muscle meds supplement feast mode uh, is much the same. Um, it features um quite a it's got, it's got a full blend of digestive enzymes and that's really half the formula and then the other half is um basically an appetite stimulating blend of uh, prune ginger root fennel seed and licorice root and so it's quite a it's quite a unique mix of little things in there and, and again the whole point of it is to just in, enhance improve and just help you eat more <laughs> and i thought it was really a, a, an interesting twist on uh, on a supplement because while I, I'm sure other brands could have come out with it, I think it's it's uh, it's not every brand would be able to promote something like that. Um, I mean, they've got brands out there more weight loss specific, uh, so it's very rare that you see a supplement that again it's not a mass gainer that's not fifteen hundred calories or whatever. So I thought this was a really interesting approach, a really unique little supplement, and um, it doesn't look to be all that expensive either. I think. Uh, on Amazon, at least, they had it listed at like 25 bucks for 30 servings. So, yeah, I think it's not yet on their website, but probably will be soon. Um, moving on, we now shoot to Nutribio, who I think we talked about this supplement um, in another episode. But Nutribio announced a new supplement called Leg Day. Uh, and then last week, the brand launched it, completely revealed the formula. And I thought it was quite impressive i'm a big fan of intra workout supplements um i have been in the industry for over a decade and way back in the beginning intra workouts were were more carbohydrate endurance performance based you would get um i think Sizon was kind of in that realm was considered an intra workout um uh, john meadows uh prime nutrition supplement intra md that was kind of a resurgence or a return to that more performance carbohydrate endurance based intra workout supplement uh, except he referred to it as a peri workout but over the years intra workouts have become a more or less like uh, extend where it's just sort of aminos uh, a few supporting ingredients and hydration ingredients you don't get these fully loaded uh, intra workouts like i remember seeing a lot more of I guess around 2010, 2012, early early 2010s basically. Um, and you kind of get these complex intra workouts every now and then. In fact, if you recall, if you caught our episode, our interview episode last week with Liam from HR Labs, they're another great example. They have a supplement called Level Up and it's a powerhouse intra workout. Very much the same thing, more on the premium side. An expensive supplement to be buying for during your workout, but they they help tremendously and support tremendously when you're doing intense workouts, especially demanding and exhausting workouts. But um, yeah, so Nutribio came out with its supplement, Leg Day, which has turned out to be an intra workout. There was that suspect a suspicion that it might be a pre-workout, but I know Mark hinted to me that it could be something other than a pre-workout, which could only lead me to believe an intra workout. And that is what it is. And it is definitely one of your more premium advanced just performance flat out endurance enhancing intra workout so you get a full blend of eaas um, 8.6 grams uh, sorry 8.6 grams of aminos and then 7.6 of that is eaas because there is a gram of ornithine in there which is in a, one of the nine eaas and then of that uh, 7.6 grams of eaas five grams belong to the three all important bcaas um, but alongside that, you get a whole bunch of electrolytes and hydration ingredients, including uh, Kelsey K, taurine, Cocoa Pure, um, and estrogens in there as well to enhance absorption. 
And as I said, it is a carb base or carb powered supplement. Um, on that area, you've got 30 grams of carbs per serving, 25 of that coming from uh, Cluster Dextrin Premium HBCD, highly branched cyclodextrin. And uh, there's also D ribose making up the other 5 grams of that 30 grams. And another interesting feature of this supplement, which I thought was quite cool um, and, and definitely puts it more into that premium realm uh, for intra workouts, is uh, Nutribio and Mark Glazer. They put in a few focus ingredients in this one, a few supporting things. Um, I would argue that a lot of the premium, well, not argue, I would just say a lot of the premium intra workouts do that aminos, complex carbs, um, premium electrolytes, and stuff like that. But it's this extra bit here that I think helps Nutribio's leg day feel or come out as something quite a bit different. So alongside those carbs, the aminos, the hydration ingredients, and the estrogen is uh, Synactive, which uh, is a performance ingredient, um, previously known as Actogen. Um, then there's uh, L of ATP, another great performance ingredient, uh, L-Dopa, and then there's also the premium focus ingredient, Neurofactor. Now those, there's those four there, that make this a little bit more than I would say a, a premium traditional powerhouse central workout and really just, I guess, put it up into that premium advanced realm really and and, and, and justify the price tag because it is quite an expensive intra workout, uh, especially again, if you're looking at those um, amino based intra workouts that we see more and more of these days with aminos and uh, electrolytes, they usually sit in the 20, 30 realm um, sometimes a little bit more. So leg day from Nutribio, that's fifty four ninety nine for a tub of twenty full servings. So this is in the thirty. This is twenty full servings. Uh, so just off the top of my head, that's got to be something. I think that's two seventy five a serving. I'm probably off a little bit. I know it is. It is two dollars seventy five a workout. So it's um it's definitely a, a good chunk of change. But I, I I think they've done a good job. They're really not necessarily just making it an intra workout. That's that's more focused and really really driven towards that idea of supporting you while you work out um, you can check out the formula on our site i've got a good breakdown of the ingredients and what else what's in there and uh yeah you can buy it now from the nutribio website at that 54.99 per tub uh, next we move over to gaspari nutrition who uh, had two stories i believe it was um last week and the uh the first was that um it gave its uh, long-running creatine-based supplement, Sizon, a fresh new look. And the look is more in line with Super Pump Aggression. So if you've seen that, you'll know what we mean. It's basically a more, I guess, grungy, urban, modern type kind of look and feel. And they've applied that same kind of branding to Sizon. So you don't have that uh, traditional bright blue Gaspari color. It's more of white with just a few color accents representing the flavor. Uh, and they've renamed the supplement Sizon Get Swole. Um, alongside the new look is also, and the new name is also a new and improved flavor profile. So the flavors are apparently um, better than the previous versions. Uh, the formula is the same from what we know, featuring all the same ingredients and dosages to provide the same kind of experience. But um, the other story we got and we shared last week was that... Uh, much like uh, I'm asked, asked you to throw your minds back when Control Labs had black hole, I will ask you to do that again. So Gaspari confirmed that it is coming out with the, if you can remember, there was a product called Sizon Pre-Contest. And I'm talking way, 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 way back in the day, years and years ago. Um, it was around the time Sizon, the regular Sizon with carbs was called um, Maximum Performance, if I remember correctly. And then there was Sizon Pre-Contest. And the whole idea of pre-contest was was to build on that you know that pre-contest mindset where you're trying to keep your carbs and calories low, and so it was basically the power of size on with a lot fewer carbohydrates and calories, designed for as true to the name, uh, people who are in pre-contest prep, and it proved quite popular. I know a lot of people loved it at the time, um, and so. Yeah, they, Gaspari announced or revealed that following the announcement or relaunch of Sizon, now called Sizon Get Swole, there is going to be a return of that get that sorry that Sizon pre-contest concept. So we are going to be getting 
a lower carbohydrate and lower calorie version of Saison later in the year. Uh, and they did also note that in addition to this sort of spin-off alternative pre-contest um, Saison is that they are going to be putting in other ingredients to make up for those for the for the removal of the carbs or lowering of the carbs. And so they didn't mention what kind of ingredients, but they will be there to uh, kind of support the overall benefits of size on in general. So performance, strength and endurance. So there will be other ingredients thrown in the mix. So you're not just getting a, a carb free version, you are getting a kind of a, a slightly tweaked uh, experience still aimed at trying to push the performance and endurance um, areas of your workout as best you can. Uh, we don't have an idea on, on when that one's coming out. They would just say that it's in the works and it's likely l- launching uh, later this year. Um, so again, we had we definitely had a lot of stories shared last week um, and we've got plenty more to go through. Um, the next one we have is actually uh, from Muscle Beach who I uh, do believe we talked about it in the last episode uh, when Muscle Beach revealed that there is going to be five grams of active nitrate ingredients in their uh, highly anticipated new pre-workout pumping iron. Now, five grams of active nitrates, if you're familiar with nitrates, that's that's a shitload in short. Um, when it comes to pump pre-workouts or even pre-workouts that have good pumps, nitrates are, are, are almost... E, just to go to they're re- they're incredibly re- reliable and of all of the supplements i've had they're always at good dosages and, and then the pumps are just they tend to develop quicker they tend to f- the blood flow gets to in, tends to increase and enhance quicker and then the pumps tend to get fuller and denser and it's it's an it's a great experience and a noticeable thing when the sub when nitrates are at play um and uh, nitrates are also in the uh, top rated on number one pump pre-workout Ghost Pump, um, as well as I think maybe two or three other ones of our top five pump pre-workouts. And so five grams of active nitrate is, is a lot. But the important thing to note about Muscle Beach's new pumping iron pre-workout is that nitrates aren't the only feature of the supplement. There are still plenty of other ingredients in there because pumping iron isn't a pump pre-workout. It's still intended to be that comprehensive stimulant-fueled uh, pre-workout much um so it, it has a lot of focus on pumps um last week we actually got another interesting feature confirmed for the supplement which i thought was really cool so um pumping iron is going to feature again five grams of active nitrates two of those are nitrates that have never been used before uh proline nitrate and beta alanine nitrate um the other one i think is citrulline nitrate and if i'm not mistaken oh, damn it i'm trying to remember the other one there are four in total. I don't have it off the top of my head. But I'll beat a nitrate. And that's the five grams divided up, up across those four. And uh, so the other detail we got last week was that pumping iron is also going to be the first supplement to feature a nitrate enhancing technology called Ironworks. Uh, and now the description on this, it, it sounds really interesting. Um, and I mean... I would have thought five grams of active nitrates in a pre-workout or even a pump pre-workout were enough to write home about, were enough to be excited about. So apparently this Ironworks uh, technology, its new trademarked patent pending um, feature, it is an instant nitric oxide technology um, powered by a hydrogen reduced elemental iron. And the idea is, is that um, when the elemental iron is combined with nitrates such as the loaded five grams that's in pumping iron it creates instant nitric oxide gas so the idea is that combined with the nitrates and, and the ironworks you get in kind of a, an offshoot or an amplifying or a complementary pump benefit to I guess make for a more pump intense experience so it sounds again i thought five grams of active nitrates was already enough you know to be to be excited about to to uh shout at the sky but this is apparently meant to make this kind of make it even better and by the sounds of things in a very different way to what you may have experienced if you have had high doses of nitrates and pre-workouts and pump supplements before um it'll be again it'll be the first pumping iron is going to be the first supplement to feature this iron works uh and nitrates aren't really all that i mean they're in a lot of top quality pre-workers but they're not in every pre-work it's not like caffeine or citrulline and stuff like that they are used in a lot of your more uh higher end premium products and brands and stuff like that and so this, I guess, Ironworks, this, it'd be interesting to see how this turns out. And if 
exactly what it feels like because based on the description it sounds like just a, a, a very exciting a very exciting experience and um that product uh pumpy nine i believe is rolling out in the coming weeks i was told early march and we are obviously in early march so i would suspect to see a launch on that any day now if not the coming weeks so um definitely want to get my hands on that and really again being a big nitro fan i really want to see what this ironworks feels like uh and and and, and to, to even add to it as i said pumping iron is a comprehensive pre-workout so while we have got the nitrates confirmed and the ironworks feature confirmed there is still plenty more in this and we still haven't got word on what kind of energy focus and even performance ingredients are in this and so i imagine that we'll find out more about that um as we near launch which again which is also meant to be right around the corner um we now shoot to naughty boy who again this was another big story that kind of just just shot out of out of nowhere and it's that um so naughty boy who was our international brand of the year winner for last year and even newcomer of the year they have a pretty pretty extensive lineup of supplements just considering it's a very still a very new brand only just over a year old Naughty Boy has quite a number of supplements on the market, um, spanning across a mountain of different categories. Uh, but surprisingly, it has their, their, it hasn't touched the amino category, and aminos are obviously quite a big, important um, space. And Naughty Boy hasn't really put anything f- together for it. But last week, it kind of announced its plans to take on that amino category. And as we mentioned in that story, it is probably one of the most extensive and strategic plans to take on a new category that i've ever seen so naughty boy isn't just coming out with amino it's coming out with four and the way it's it's kind of split it up and structured it is that so there's uh, the entire family um of the four different amino supplements is called ilmatic or the ilmatic supplements and those four supplements in that lineup are ilmatic bcas which is um a more straightforward bca supplement uh, enhanced with philositol then there is Ilmatic EAAs, which of course is a more comprehensive and complete amino with all nine EAAs. Then you have Ilmatic Carbs, which again is an amino supplement enhanced with uh, extra carbohydrates, sort of more like the intra-workout approach as we're talking about with Nutribio's Leg Day. And then the fourth one is called Ilmatic Intra, which I th- again, so while the Ilmatic Carbs, like it sounds like more of an intra, I think it's sort of the way it sounds is it's more of like a complexity stepping stone kind of thing. So you've got Ilmatic BCAs, quite basic, straightforward, Ilmatic EAAs, and then you've got Ilmatic carbs with aminos and carbs, and then you've got Ilmatic intra, which I imagine is the most loaded and comprehensive intra workout or amino product of the Ilmatic family. So it's a very, very, as I said, a very strategic, very interesting, very well thought out approach, unlike I've anything I've seen before. And I, and I say that as, I mean, I, I, there have been brands, I guess, that have taken on the protein powder category and they've launched like a, a gainer, a, a casein, a meal replacement, and a, an isolate. So this is kind of what Naughty Boy's done here for the amino market, which is what makes it so interesting because, I mean, I, again, I've seen some brands do it for protein powder, you know, introduce protein powders, different versions for different scenarios. And same with pre-workouts. I have seen brands maybe launch two or three pre-workouts but I've never seen an approach like this to the amino market. It, it's a very interesting um, interesting angle, uh, mostly because it's just right out of the gate. Like I said, Naughty Boy isn't in the amino market right now, and to just come out swinging with four different ones I think is very interesting. Um, we, don't, we don't have the full formulas and reveals of all these supplements just yet, just the names and their kind of intentions and how they're going to be separated from each other. Um, but the supplements themselves, I believe, are rolling out within the coming weeks or months. So uh, definitely stay tuned for our website. We'll drop uh, more information on each of those supplements as they come in. Uh, next up, we shoot to um, Massive Iron Supplements. And if you caught our my podcast that I do with the Final Scoop with Supplement Engineer, it's a little collab podcast we do with uh, uh, my friend Lucas Rotowski, uh, or sorry, Lukash. <laughs> for, from from Prometheus in Europe, um, Robic from Apollo Nutrition, uh, the hardcore reputable brand, and uh, the supplement engineer, um, reputable formulator. And so massive 
uh, we, we, on that podcast, we talked about massive iron supplements. And the reason is, is because massive iron supplements is actually the first real brand from the supplement engineer himself. Um, and Steve Shaw, uh, another veteran of the industry. Um, and yeah, they've come together, create a brand called Massive Iron Supplements. So they do a podcast, uh, those two. And uh, yes, it's a collaboration and the partnership seems to have evolved into a brand of supplements. And this news kind of came out of nowhere. I thought it was, uh, I applaud supplement engineer Robert for uh, keeping it under wraps and kind of close to the chest and then just dropping it all. And it was um, pretty cool to see. So Massive Iron Supplements is, is basically going to be a, uh, or is, a uh, more premium kind of a brand and if you know the supplement engineer robert you'll you'll know that 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 make that's what you know you'd expect that from him um and so they're going to start with five supplements or they're they're planning to roll out five supplements um there will be a there's creatine supplement a joint formula a pre-workout a multivitamin and then a combination of vitamin k2 and d3 now of those five supplements uh, the creatine is the only one that's available for pre-order at the moment. It's called Creatine uh, Massive Creatine Plus. It, as I mentioned, it's a premium brand with uh, the supplement engineers' creative formulating ability behind it. So it's not too surprising that this isn't just a straightforward creatine monohydrate powder. So you do get full 5 grams of creatine monohydrate per serving, but alongside that is 10 grams of D-ribose for natural energy production, uh, LFATP and Synactive to further help uh, endurance and performance. So it's a very performance endurance strength focused supplement that's essentially creatine based. It's almost to the point where you couldn't just doesn't need, even need it to be called a creatine. Um, it's just a nice comprehensive energy performance supplement, and uh, this is the first one that Massive Iron from uh, the supplement engineer and Steve Shaw have released, or at least put up for pre-order. Uh, pre-orders are shipping, I believe, at the end of this month, or expected to. That could be changed and delayed, but that's when they're aiming to to have those rolling out. Um, we'll have more details, obviously, on this brand as as uh, as it grows. Um, again, five supplements are, are planned and rolling out, kind of to start. So we've got four supplements left to get details on, and and as I said, we do a podcast with uh, the supplement engineer every saturday um i'm sure i'll be able to dig some information out of him every weekend so uh stay tuned and, and, and we'll make sure um, we keep you updated on that brand and everything else uh and the last story we have to share again at the start i did say there was a lot of juice in this episode there's a lot of exciting stuff in fact some of the stories that i wanted to share i wasn't able to because this episode would have just gone on for for a very long time um but yeah so uh the last little story in the the, the title story we're going to share comes from Supplement Needs. Now, Supplement Needs is an incredibly reputable brand from the UK. It's a, Supplement Needs is actually a retailer who also has its own brand of supplements. And we were introduced to it uh, by a friend who said it was well worth checking out and always open to hearing about new brands and checking them out. And, and, and we just gave it one look and we're like, holy shit, this is it kind of reminds me a lot of Morphogen. So the brand kind of, well, not just kind of, it just it brings unique advanced approaches to categories of supplements that don't usually get that kind of attention and detail. Uh, it's, it's almost as if, like again, Morphogen, they formulate supplements, very specific supplements, such as like a second stim free fat burner or, or, or a second blood uh, pump supplement more for blood flow. But even though they've got these different supplements, regardless of the, specific, the, the specificness or the uniqueness or the individuality of the supplement, they put, to, they put just as many ingredients in it as they would a pre-workout to the point where everything is priced exactly $48. It's a very cool little theme of Morphogen. And so they don't hold back regardless of the category. And if you look at Morphogen supplements, it's very clear that, that, that they don't hold back. It's a nice way to, to understand that everything costs $48, but they make everything worth $48, which is the impressive part. And they do it for categories that you just don't see from almost any other brand. And that's kind of what Supplement Needs does. It's very much the same. They don't have that consistent price point, but they still put a shitload of well-dosed, thought-out ingredients and formulas into supplements for categories that you don't recognize or you won't be familiar with. 
Um, but this past week, Supplement Needs did something that um, would surprise a lot of people after what I just said about how reputable it is. Um, so Supplement Needs doesn't it didn't have a pre-workout before last week. It's 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 taken on a lot of different categories in a lot of different ways, but it hasn't had a pre-workout. Um, and being the unique brand that it is, last week it introduced its three it introduced three pre-workouts, uh, and um, they're again they were all very loaded, very well dosed, uh, packed to the gills for their specific points, and uh, they can all be used together. And um, so the three supplements or three pre-workouts from supplement needs are pre-stim, pre-focus, and pre-pump. Now, pre-focus is obviously, it's a focus-driven pre-workout. It does have a bit of caffeine in there, but it's 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 not a, it's not a lot. Um, pre-focus, I think, is something like, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. I can't, I think it's like a 100, no, 200, 200. There's a active time-release caffeine and then pure caffeine, natural caffeine, so combined 200. Um, so it's not a lot. But alongside all of those, that is a whole bunch of focus ingredients. In fact, majority of the formula is for focus outside of that, uh, those caffeine uh, sources, which also help with focus, of course. Um, but it's just a pure, loaded, focus-driven supplement, um, including things like uh, you get 600 milligrams of alpha GPC, 1.5 of tyrosine, acetylcholine's in there at half a gram. Um, it's, again... It's got a lot of ingredients in there to just really power the focus for a workout. Um, as for pre-pump, much like focus, it's a supplement fully loaded for pumps. Um, you get a few common ingredients like citrulline uh, at a huge, rather huge six grams per serving, uh, two grams of betaine, one point five of uh, nitrosamine, vaso six in the, is in there as well at three hundred milligrams, pomegranate sea salt, um, S acetylglutathione is quite a uh, mento pump is in there as well so again another interesting and intriguing approach and now the most um i think that the supplement that caught me most by surprise of these three uh from supplement needs is pre-stim so i expected with pre-focus i had a feeling that was going to be like a focus powered pre-workout pre-pump i assume was going to be for pumps pre-stim i suspected it to be the one with all the stims um, and, and that is the case, but there's a bit of a twist here. So pre-stim has all of your stimulants outside of caffeine. So it's got teocrine, um, juglans, uh, dynamine, neuropea, hordenine, and, um, Kigalia africana. So it wraps all these up into a serving. But as I said, the most interesting thing is that caffeine is not in there. And I, I would be hard-pressed to come up with a supplement off the top of my head that has all of these stimulants for intended for pre-workout purposes, but doesn't have caffeine. I, I mean, I, I know there are supplements that will have the sort of standalone single ingredient stuff that will have teacrine and dynamine, but I cannot think of a supplement that does it in this manner where you get them combined but there's no caffeine in there. Um, so the idea I thought was really, really unique, incredibly unique. They, they have these three pre-workouts, pumps, focus, and, 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 and uh, you know, stimulants for energy and focus. But the, the caffeine is in the focus supplement. And I think it's a... So the idea is obviously you can use these supplements by themselves for their intended purposes, uh, but you can also stack them together. But the bonus there is, is that not only can you stack them together, you can also add in your own caffeine source, whether it be an energy drink or I don't know, some other caffeinated formula that doesn't have too much overlap with any of these other ingredients, and then adjust the caffeine to your liking. I thought that it was an, a very interesting approach considering they put together three supplements that could be purchased and used together, and a solid dose of caffeine wasn't the focus of any of them. Uh, I thought it was just a really cool approach, a very unique approach, very different to what you would find. And, and this is on top of the fact that the formulas behind each of these specific supplement needs pre-workouts is pretty damn stacked, uh, no pun intended. Um, I immediately, as soon as they went up for pre 
I pre-ordered all three. I pre-ordered the stack. I was annoyed they didn't have a stack that was discounted, but they had a, you could buy them all three separately and they had a coupon code on that first day, which we shared in hopes that everyone could get in early and get, get their hands on it. Um, and they got you, I think it was like 10, 15, I think it was 15% off. Yeah, it's 15% off and um, it was very limited and it dropped it down to like 89 pounds, which is somewhere around like 120, 125 US. But um, yeah, I'm very intrigued to try these three together very intrigued and i just like that idea of being able to add the extra caffeine there are times when i try a pre-workout whether or not it's two pre-workouts stacked together and i try a pre-workout and let's just say it has 250 or 300 i may put a little bit more caffeine in from a monster ultra in there just to to beef it up so i can compare it to other pre-workouts that i like that have that 350 or 400 mark or whatever and it just gives you this freedom and it's um I just I just like how supplement needs didn't didn't say anything. It's not like in the it's not in their description. We left caffeine out for this and this. They just see we go and put a low caffeine in there. And I just think it's really smart in this day and age where so many different levels of caffeine are in pre workouts that it gives you the freedom to kind of chop it around and, and do whatever you please. And the other benefit is is that typically when you get those intense stimulants that you get in pre-stim is um, you would those those intense stimulants would come with a high dose of caffeine themselves so most pre-workouts that have like an uh, i guess a mix as intense as the uh the dynamine tia korean juglins uh neuro pea and kigali africana you would be getting a, a high amount of caffeine with that already so this kind of gives you the ability and I don't think it would be difficult to find a product with that kind of blend of stims and intensity that doesn't come with a high amount of caffeine. So this supplement gives you the ability to take those intense stimulants and mix them with something like 160 milligrams of caffeine if you choose. They've really allowed for a lot of freedom and choice and uh, stacks and just allow you to really make your own kind of pre-workout cocktail more detailed than you would with any other kind of brand in, in, in stack. I thought it was just a really cool concept, a really cool approach. Um, they've just allowed for things that you may already be doing with other pre-workouts anyway. And they've in, in, you know, integrated it into this complete system that's made up of three different pre-workouts. I thought it was just really cool, a very unique approach. The, su the supplements themselves individually look solid. Um, so together... While it was, like I said, 89 pounds, which is it's no, it's combined, we're looking at, what, 120 US. I mean, that's quite possibly the most expensive pre-workout I would have I would have purchased. But again, well, this is three split up, so it's more like 40 a piece. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to try that. We'll definitely be getting a review of the whole lot as soon as we can try them all together. Um, but you can check them out on our site. I don't believe that 15% coupon code still works, but... Um, yeah, definitely check it out. Um, Supplement Needs is an awesome brand that's just gone from strength to strength. Um, but uh, as always, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to stay up to date with everything on the site. Um, we we share a buttload of stories every day. So once again, thank you for listening and look forward to having you back on the next episode.